Have you ever wondered what space travel would be like in the future? You probably think of humanity having colonized the solar system, the galaxy, or even the universe. But that is nearly impossible, at least with the current level of technology. On average, it takes seven months to get to Mars. And even at the speed of light, it takes over four years to get to the closest star. But in science fiction, there are generally warp drives or other fictional technology which lets us travel these distances in mere months, weeks, or even days. It takes seven months purely due to the limitations in technology. But there is a new kind of t engine emerging, the magnetoplasmodynamic thruster, which is a type of ion drive. A very long name for a very efficient engine. These engines are so rebellious, they feel like they came straight out of science fiction. Join me as we discover how they work, and why they are so efficient. MPD thrusters work by first ionizing a gas, typically a noble gas such as argon or xenon, and then using magnetic fields to accelerate the resulting plasma. This acceleration creates a powerful and efficient thrust that can propel spacecraft at very high speeds. MPD thrusters are currently the most efficient form of electric propulsion with specific va impulse values that are several times higher than those of other electrical thrusters, such as ion thrusters. So how can MPD thrusters revolutionize space travel? Well, one of the main advantages of these thrusters is their high efficiency, which means they can produce a bigger amount of thrust using a relatively little amount of propellant. This is important because the amount of fuel that a spacecraft can carry is limited by the size and weight of the rocket needed to launch it. By using a more efficient propulsion system like an MPD thrusters, spacecraft can travel further and faster using less propellant, which can greatly reduce the cost and complexity of space missions. Another advantage of MPD thrusters is their high thrust to weight ratio, which means that they can produce a considerable amount of thrust relative to their weight. This is important because the amount of thrust that a spacecraft can produce determines how quickly it can accelerate and how quickly it can reach its destination. Using a propulsion system with a high thrust to weight ratio, spacecraft can accelerate more quickly and reach their destinations in less time. Now let's talk about the potential of MPD thrusters for interplanetary travel. Currently it requires several months of travel from Earth to Mars using chemical rockets which are the primary propulsion system used for spacecraft today. However, with MPD thrusters, it may be possible to reduce this time to just 39 days. This is based on a proposed mission called the Variable Specific Impulse Magnetoplasma Rocket, or VASMIR, which is a type of MPD thruster that has been under development for several years now. The Vasmir thruster works by ionizing one or more gases and then accelerating them using magnetic fields. However, unlike traditional MPD thrusters, the Vasmir thruster can vary its specific impulse, which is a measure of the amount of thrust that it can produce per unit of propellant. By varying the specific impulse, the Vasmir thruster can optimize its performance for different phases of a mission. For example, it can use a high specific impulse to accelerate quickly and then switch to a lower specific impulse for sustained thrust during the cruise phase of a mission. The Vasmir thruster has been proposed for several potential interplanetary missions, including a crewed mission to Mars which would just take 39 days. This would be a significant improvement over the current travel time of several months using chemical rockets. However, several challenges still need to be overcome before this mission can become a reality. One of the biggest challenges is developing a power source that can provide the energy needed to run the Vasmir thruster. Currently, the Vasmir thruster requires a lot of power to operate, and conventional power sources like solar panels or batteries are not just powerful enough. To address this issue, the Vasmir team has been exploring the use of nuclear power, such as a small nuclear reactor, to provide the necessary energy. Another challenge is the development of materials that can withstand the high temperatures and pressures generated by the Vasmir thruster. The plasma in the thruster can reach temperatures of several million degrees Celsius, which can cause materials to melt or break down over time. 
To address this issue, the Vasmir team has been developing new materials which can withstand these extreme conditions. In addition to these technical challenges, there are also logistical and financial challenges that need to be addressed. The development and testing of new propulsion systems can be expensive and time-consuming, and there is always the risk that a technology may not work as expected. Furthermore, the use of nuclear power for space missions is a co controversial issue, and there are concerns about the safety and environmental impact of using nuclear reactors in space. Despite these challenges, many experts believe that MPD thrusters, including the Vasmir thruster, have the potential to revolutionize space travel and enable new types of missions that were previously impossible. By reducing the travel time to Mars from several months to just 39 days, for example, MPD thrusters could open up new possibilities for crewed missions to Mars and other destinations in our solar system. One of the biggest challenges, as discussed earlier, is that they require extremely hot temperatures. And a temperature-related problem is that the sun's atmosphere is hotter than its surface temperature. To learn why it's hotter and more, you need to click on the upper right right now.